something from it, especially if you're a beginner. So this is a really simple song in the key of E. It's in the key of E major. So really, E major is E, A, and B uh, from a 1-4-5 perspective. There's 8 million rock songs that are that are all 1-4-5. And what does 1-4-5 mean? If you don't know, that's based on the 1, the 4, and the 5 position of the major scale. So the E major scale. Right, the 1 is the E. If you count up to 4, the A and the fifth is a B. One, four, five, E, A, B. What makes this song interesting is the use of seventh chords. So in the beginning, you're going from an E to an E7. You go from an A to an A7, or you can, you don't necessarily have to in this song. And then every B I play in this song is a B7, either the B7 cowboy chord, B7 bar chord, or sometimes, and I don't think I did it in that rendition I just played, this little B7 cheater chord, which is the barred B chord, which is based on that A position with the added A note in there. So, really simple. You start off with an A, and then in the middle of that first verse it goes to E7. You go to A. You go back to E, and then you throw in the B7. So let's just you know, quickly go through a verse and see. Well, I hear that train of coming. It's rolling around the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since I went to B7. Then I went to A. Slid into it. E. Time keeps dragging on. Back to E. Really simple here. Go to B7. But that train keeps rolling. play that song, I'm thinking, hey, this is a song about a train, right? It's a guy in prison, he's here on the train. I try to do the rhythm, and again, I'm not doing this one with a pick today, but I always, normally play this song with a pick. I try to keep my rhythm to be like a train, right? I'm thinking, well, I bet there's rich folks eating in a fancy dining car, chugging, 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 I bet they're drinking coffee and a smoke. just did there gives you some of the variety so I'm playing this cheater E chord instead of the regular E chord out over here which is just if you haven't seen my other videos it's seven six seven then open B and E I'm playing the A7 up here every once in a while which is the A note on the D string C sharp and a G with the E open so five excuse me seven six eight open 
sometimes slide into that too. Just gives you that little like the train whistle kind of thing going on. And then the other thing I do is just mix it up. Sometimes I'll play a verse really simple with the simple chords. Sometimes I put in the other ones. Um, so seventh chords make it sound interesting. All of those seventh chords, right? From an A to an A7, what are you doing? If you're lifting up your middle finger, if you're playing that really simple cowboy A chord. So taking the A note out and putting the G note in instead, right? The seventh note of the scale. Same thing with this E, right? So you play the normal E chord open, you lift off the E, D string when you pick your finger up becomes a D and then you also play the D over here on the B string and you get the seventh sound. Well I bet there's rich folks eating in that fancy dining car. I bet they're drinking coffee and a smoking big cigars. Or sometimes instead of doing it that way and this is, a, this is an interesting way to start moving around on the fretboard. I use my little cheater instead of the seventh chord. If they free me from this prison, if that railroad train were mine, I think I'd move it just a little farther down the line, away from Folsom Prison. Hoo-hoo, that's where I'd want to stay. And I'd let that lonesome whistle just blow my blues away. So that's really all there is to it. Really simple song, good intro to seventh chords, uh, have a warm-up song, and uh, hopefully you got something interesting out of this today. Thanks, everybody. Take care.